Hello everyone, welcome to Suni Art. This is Suni. Today I want to show you this project painting the rose. Okay, simple rose. So um, the brushes that I use for this project are these three brushes: filbert brush number six, filbert number two, and a liner. You can use any brand. Okay. So before we start, we need to outline and sketch the design first. Okay, I will paint two circle for the rose. First circle. No need to be too big, yeah, because we are using uh, filbert number six only. So once just a round circle okay like this rose i want to face in here another rose maybe face down facing down then i draw some leaf maybe here okay if you are not confident with the sketch or you can you are not familiar and you are no confidence then you can trace the pattern on the tracing paper then you transfer using the uh, graphite paper or we call the carbon paper on the surface you can transfer on the surface okay always come from the center leave i just follow my design i follow this design uh, there's a rose bud here Then the filler flower we can paint later okay so let me see the color for the roses i like i use all the paint from suni art and craft from the this 16 color sets the rose i use only two colors uh, sorry three colors rose pink magenta and soft uh, titanium white okay for this project we don't we won't use much paint okay so this bottle of paint can paint a lot a lot of projects mm. it's too much so because the magenta is for the shading so you wouldn't you wouldn't use much okay you see i already painted a lot of projects using this color sets so you won't use a lot of color one bottle is only 10 ml but it's sufficient enough for you to paint many many projects okay because this is paper so i will add a bit of water in my brush so first we will base coat the whole circle the whole flower base coat first as the first layer okay you can add some water or else the, the paint will dry very fast this is paper okay then look at here you will side load the magenta just one side this one we call double loading one side is the rose pink another side is the magenta so we will put in the this one is the shading the center okay then wipe off the brush take only the rose pink one side then another side we take only white color white color so double loading i want only white color then we paint the top petals of the rose see remember this um, these strokes i teach before in my previous video so if you forget already you forgot how to paint please refer to my previous video of my rose painting okay so always remember that the white color is always on top so now a comma stroke so you need to learn a lot of your comma stroke okay comma strokes always remember double load one side is a, a white color another side is the pink then the center One more layer here okay so if the paint is not enough always have to add back the better at the bottom so another side from the right to the left go to the center okay again one more better here 
notice that the white color is always outside can have another petal here okay then here if you found that not so nice never mind you can add in one more strokes there in the center just touch up Dog another rose. Now you have to clean the brush and take the rose pink again, base coat the whole surface. Now this rose, I want it to be darker, so I will add a bit of magenta inside the base. Okay, you have to make sure that the this base before it dry, you have to paint the rose already. So one side. It's the magenta for the center and the base can be darker wash the brush then double load one side rose pink one side white color okay so we paint the top better so how many layer is up to you from here okay then the side battle I will have one more here one here okay stroke for the side petals here go to the center if you lost the color you have to always put back take again the pink color then this side another comma stroke then here last one okay okay then if you found that you lost already the shading, you can always add back. But make sure it's not too watery. Yeah? So I put back some of the shading. Same as this one. We paint the leaf for the leaf I use two colors one is pine green another one is small screen one dark color and another lighter color okay you see the paint I pour too much already just now you see the rose paint too much already so you won't use a lot of colors okay now I change the brush I will change to a uh, filbert number two okay you see, I will take the green, dark green first, then dip on the uh, light green, but don't mix the color. Now I paint this one. Okay, the stroke will be like that. Okay, again. Okay, very simple, all from the bottom to the top. Many ways of painting this simple, simple leaf. Okay, same as the, same as the rose. Okay, so the rose stroke you, you need to practice is that the previous one I already uh, explained in my previous video. You have to learn this first. So, this stroke go up. Okay, then one more layer here. Okay, then the comma stroke. Comma. So the leaf, again the leaf, dark color, then light color, 
same like the common strokes you also can do like this way from from the bottom to the top okay so now i paint this one first very casual okay very simple and casual that's why you can paint very fast because we're using all the strokes only all stroke, stroke work so you have to master your stroke work especially the the uh, common strokes okay dark green So sometimes can be darker, some kind can be lighter. So not every leaf the same color. Okay. I also can come from here. Okay. Then almost dry, half dry. I add a light green, maybe just touch, just like the highlight but not everyone, maybe randomly then you can see some of the shape, uh, the highlight of the leaf okay done then I will change to my liner brush okay, liner brush to, to paint the veins okay. you see I hold it very near because it's easier for me to control my brush okay you can add a bit of water make it easier okay here here then i like to add some of these things uh, this one is just decoration it's up to you whether you want to add or not okay just some decoration Okay, just just like a comma stroke, comma, but using the liner. Okay, just here and there, casually. Okay, that's all. Okay. Then now we paint the rosebud using the small filbert. Again, because the brush is very small, you but you still have to do the double loading. One side white color, another side is the uh, is the pink color it's the pink color okay just like small okay then cover it just like that will do not so much okay then you can paint the leaf that's all okay very simple We will do the filler flowers. The filler flowers, I use these two color, marine blue and ultramarine blue. You won't use a lot of colors. This much will do. Okay. So you have two ways to paint this uh, filler flower. The first way is now you see we just put in the color first. Put in the color. Don't mix, you still can see two different colors. After that, you take only white color, just paint the strokes. Okay, so the stroke is one, two, three, four. The four is like the leaf already folded. Okay, again, it's the common stroke. One, two, three, four. Okay, so another way is you just take these two color. After these two colors, just take white color. So one, two, three, four. So you will see the blue and the white color together. Okay. So I feel that here is very empty. So I want to put some, some small flower, some darker tone, some lighter tone is up to you. Then take only the white color on top. Don't wash your brush. Don't wash. Okay. While it's still wet. Also can have some here. Here. Just very casual, okay? 
very simple then if you see the color tone is not standing right so you can add more white color on top of the blue just few strokes you see the color still a lot so you won't use much color look at the color here just now I put a little bit but still have a lot of color there okay maybe here you want some more here up to you okay just fill in fill in the empty part that you feel that you want to put the flower the little flower but don't put too much sometimes you have to tell yourself you need to stop okay okay that's all it's very simple so a lot of my students and uh, some people always tell me that the rose is very hard to paint actually it's not it's very simple just that you need to master the strokes the stroke work is very important so you can watch my previous video I do the um, daisy and other flowers to start with the stroke work first okay so if you found that my my tutorial is very useful to you please subscribe to my channel or also you can click on the right small bell to uh, to have the notification of all my all my uh, video i try to upload at each video a day okay every sorry uh, i try to upload a video a day to show some of my decoupage work and also my painting so remember the strokes this one and the uh, the leaf the same stroke also okay thank you for watching